Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Clarets Daily News here on Turfcast with me, Joe Revan. Now again, not too much out there at the minute. I keep hoping that it's it's going to liven up a bit and it doesn't. Um, but first of all, I just want to actually quickly say, uh, I know I mentioned yesterday that this show is now available on a podcast and it is. It's just quite, it's taking longer than I thought it would do to be distributed to all the platforms we are currently available on um out of the main ones i think it's just spotify at the minute it's taking a while to populate onto apple and it's taking a while to populate onto google as well uh, some of the not as as main ones you can get it on as well such as deezer and stuff like that i don't know if anybody actually uses that um but over the next couple of days hopefully it'll start populating on the likes of apple and google it's it's a bit of a pain in arse is getting it on on these ones because you've got to get the rss feed and and input it into apple and the same with google and then you get this code and the the podcast obviously it has an email address turfcastpodcast.gmail.com if you ever want to reach out but for some reason the email address on the rss feed goes to acast and i have no idea how to then get this code I just i need to speak to talks but anyway but hopefully if you're wanting to listen to this as a podcast i mean you can get it now on spotify like i've said it is available on spotify so if you don't usually get your podcast from spotify and you just think i'll do it for the next few days hopefully and then you can go back to your apples or your googles then that is the option at the minute and of course we will still be doing it on youtube every single weekday regardless of what happens but like i said i'll mess about with it again tonight because i'm recording this on monday night because I'm working in the morning, and hopefully over the next day or two, it will start to populate on them. Worst comes to worst, I'll just email TalkSport again and be like, right, sort this for me, because I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, hopefully, like I said, that'll be sorted over the next couple of days. And if you want a link, then just follow us on Twitter if you don't already, or Facebook. You'd know how to find us, just search Turfcast Podcast on the social media platforms, and I will be posting links to it when it's available on um, all the other podcasts providers as well but anyway let's get into some of the rumors i mentioned obviously yesterday that we had been in talks with a goalkeeper the name has come out now <laughs> and i'm gonna butcher it uh he's from the czech republic as far as i'm aware so as you can imagine it's gonna be a difficult one for me to say and his name is vaklav haladke 100% butchered that, 100% butchered it, um, but yeah, he was on loan at Ipswich last season, I think, was he on loan, I'm not sure if he was on loan, but he, he was playing for Ipswich last season, uh, they did offer him a contract, he wasn't on loan, I'm talking rubbish, he's been there for a few years, um, but he was, I think, their main goalkeeper last season, or a very good goalkeeper, and they, and they offered him a, a deal to stay at the club, but he apparently rejected that deal, according to reports, According to reports in the Czech Republic, Burnley have offered former Ipswich goalkeeper the name uh, a two-year deal, but the goalkeeper is expected to join Czech slide FK Jablonek instead, according to reports in the Czech Republic. So it's not a great sign that we're getting turned down uh, by Czech Republic sides, but the reports are suggesting that even though Burnley offered him more than what he was on at Ipswich last season and have offered him more than what this Czech Republic side are offering him. I saw someone today saying that apparently there's a report saying that he wants to finish his career at home, which I guess is fair enough. If if that is the reason, there's nothing really you can do about it. At least he doesn't think that we you know, are, are not an attractive club. I mean, we're obviously not attractive enough to, to finish his career here, in his opinion. But if, if he just wants to go home, then he just wants to go home. So, yeah, a bit of a shame. But I was told about this guy a couple of days ago, and I was told that he's coming in as backup and another keeper will come in as a number one. But he seems quite decent. I probably would have had him as number one. But hopefully there's a new name coming out over the next few days that we can see that could be coming in as number one. Because like I've said uh, on yesterday's show, Murich is 99% certain now to be going to Ipswich Town. At Trafford, uh, there's been re reported interest from Newcastle. There's been some murmurs of Chelsea. And I don't think he'll be too far behind him, if I'm being honest with you, James Trafford. So we definitely need a goalkeeper in. Uh, and I know Vigoru is still here as well, but there were reports of him potentially going back to Leighton Orient. So looks like with the season less than a month away, we are currently struggling for goalkeepers. But fingers crossed we see something over the next couple of days where we see something moving quicker with a goalkeeper and we can get them involved and get them 
between the sticks on the opening day of the season because like I said at the minute it's not looking great Again, like I said, not too much out there at the minute, so I'm going to pad this out with some sort of like rumours, but I did hear recently that Burnley were looking at Callum O'Hare again. Quite a few, well, two different sources told me that Burnley were looking at Callum O'Hare again. One of them even told me he'd been down to Barnfield. Now, I'm not sure how true that actually is, but whether he was or not, it's not looking like he'll be coming to Burnley. I was told a few weeks ago that it was between Burnley and Sheffield United. Well, it is now reported that Sheffield United, well, by the time you're watching this, it might actually be a done deal by Sheffield United. He's going to Sheffield United, basically. Um, it's, they, they actually signed Kiefer Moore yesterday from Bournemouth. Decent signing, I think, in my opinion, will do well in the Championship. Not, he's not going to you know, rip up any trees and, and be the leading goal scorer in the Championship, but he's probably going to get somewhere between 8 to 12 goals and chip in with a few decent performances, I think, for Sheffield United. And now it's looking like they're going to get Callum O'Hare as well. Now, I think Leeds were, according to the press, the Leeds were the main team battling it out with Sheffield United. But like I said, a couple of days ago, I was told it was between Burnley or Sheffield United, and it looks like he's chosen Sheffield United. However... I do like Callum O'Hare and I think he's a good player. I'm not going to for one second sit here and say I'm glad he's gone there. I don't want him. But if the reports are true, Sheffield United are offering him 45 grand a week, which is a hell of a lot for a player who's you know not met it in the Premier League and 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 had a massive injury. Let's not forget about that. He, he had an ACL and then came back last season, chipped him with a few goals here and there. And in Coventry's best season recently, when they got to the playoff final, don't really think he played too much because obviously he got the injury at the start of that season. So, or was it towards the end of the last one? I can't remember, but it's it's a big gamble for them if they're going to pay forty five grand a week and give a hefty signing on fee to him. Obviously, they're going to make money, save money. Sorry, from not buying him and obviously that money is then being reinvested into his wages. I get that, but I still think it's a risk in my opinion. I would have took him at Turf more, but yeah, uh, obviously he's not coming. But Sheffield United making moves, a little bit worried about them from a promotion rival perspective. If we are going to be a promotion rival, we need to get our um, arses in here, don't we, if we are going to be. But um, making decent moves, I think, in the transfer market, Sheffield United. Still got a few bits to, you know, a few, a few uh, pieces of the puzzle to complete, but... Yeah, I'm starting to worry about them from our perspective. I think they're doing some good business, but yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, Callum O'Hare, I mean, it wasn't really in the news, if I'm being honest with you. It's just more hearsay and, and people talking to me and, and two different sources, like I said, talking to me. So we'll see. It potentially never was, but we'll see. But yeah, that's it, unfortunately, from me today. Like I said, not too much. Just got to get it to that eight minute though. Like I said to you yesterday, just got to get it to that eight minute and I'll always make sure I do. But yeah, like I said, if you're looking for the podcast, fingers crossed, I'll get it sorted on Apple and Google over the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, we will be here on YouTube every single weekday, no matter what, unless you know something happens with family or you know work commitments, for example. But I'm working two 12-hour shifts the next couple of days, so this one's going to be up for you tomorrow morning, as in Tuesday morning. I'll schedule it so it's ready, and then fingers crossed when I get home from work tomorrow, I can do Wednesdays for you. If not, I'll do it Wednesday night and then the Thursday night one on Thursday night, and then Friday night, we'll do it that way. But yeah, fingers crossed for the podcast for you soon as well uh, on the Claret's Daily News, and I will be looking at doing a podcast, I think, or a debate show on the Turfcast feed over the next week, probably towards the weekend, if we have some stuff to talk about, because as it stands, there's not too much to talk about, there's no incomings, but fingers crossed we get Perez over the line this week. Um, or should I say announced because the reports are it is over the line but yeah again we'll see uh, but let me know what you think in the comments below about the uh, Czech Republic goalkeeper I'm not even going to embarrass myself with his name again it's a shame if we are going to miss out on him because he did look decent from what I saw very brief clips admittedly I didn't pay too much attention to Ipswich, uh, Ipswich Town in the championship last season forgive me but from the few bits I did see he looked quite decent but yeah looks like he's going to be going to Czech Republic let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll be back tomorrow